king of the universe. Hallelujah to the only one that can break the curse. Hallelujah to the giver of life, Jesus. When's the last time you worship God with a kiss of praise? Open your mouth to the ancient of days. Emmanuel be praised. Open your lips and lift up your voice and begin to sing to God, begin to worship God, begin to honor God. Truly honor God. There was a time that Jesus said, these people honor me with their mouths, but their hearts are far away. Don't allow your heart to be far away in these last days. Turn to God. All things are possible with God. Turn to the God of the living. Turn to the God of life. Call upon the name of Jesus Christ. Be redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Walk in the plan of God. God will fulfill His plan for you. God will show you His ways. God will teach you in these last days. God will give you wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You begin to fear God. You begin to honor God. You begin to walk with God. This fear will draw you closer to God. I'm not talking about a fear where you run away from God. A fear that you stand in awe of God. That you tremble at the word of God. That you reverence God. That you respect God. That you honor God. That you don't take God's name in vain. In the last day, so many of fake Christians. So many people think, oh, take God's name in vain. It's just using the name of Jesus like a fool that a filthy word. No, no, no. That's, that's taking God's name in vain. But another way to take God's name in vain is to say you're a Christian when you're really just a hypocrite. Another way to take the name of God in vain is when you say, oh, I'm a believer in God. I'm saved. But you're not led by the Holy Spirit in these last days. We're in the end times. You're either a slave of righteousness, a son of God, or you're a son of hell, you're serving the devil. You can't serve two masters. There's no other way about it. There's a million ways, a million roads to hell, one way to heaven. His name is Jesus. He wants to purge the leaven. He was crucified to remove the sins from you. He was made alive to intercede for you. He's the high priest seated in heavenly places. He's at his throne in heaven glorified that you might be justified, that you might be made alive, that you might receive the gift of life, that you might be brought back to God. Tonight can be the night that you die and enter eternity. And there is an eternal realm. This is not it. Planet Earth is cursed. I'm glad I'm not going to be here forever. This place is cursed and wretched. Wicked, idolatrous, full of iniquity, full of idolatry. The enemy comes and floods so many people with their filthiness and debauchery, with their immorality and pornography. But God will raise up a standard. God is the highest standard. God has given the commandment to repent, to turn from your sin, to be born again, to be, to be born of God, to be relieved your sin, to be washed of your sin, to be free from your sin. Jesus frees men from the power of sin, from the power of slavery, from the power of iniquity. God works righteousness in his sons and daughters. God will work in you. God will move in you. God will surround you. Hallelujah. Oh, God wants to save you. God wants to heal you. God doesn't take pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked will turn to him and live life through Jesus Christ. That you be redeemed by the blood of Jesus. That you believe and trust in the Lord Jesus. Don't be like a Judas with the kiss and betray Jesus in these last days. Be faithful. Be the betrayed Jesus. But he went on to repent. Jesus said, before the, before the rooster crows three times, you'll betray me. But Peter went on to obey him. It's time to obey him. Don't be like a modern day Judas. Obey Jesus. Worship Jesus. Honor God. Fear God. Obey God. Love God. Live with God. Taste of God. Feel the presence of God. Hallelujah. Walk by faith. Come to Yeshua. You begin to hate what God hates. You begin to love what God loves. God transforms you. God changes you. He does what religion can't do. God 
changes you from the inside out. It's a mystery. There's a metamorphosis. You're not a work of iniquity when you follow Jesus. You're not a son of hell when you obey Jesus. You become a child of God. You become one of the children of light. You fight the good fight of faith. You walk by faith and not by sight. You begin to hate what God hates. So many people love their sin. You can't say you love him if you love your sin. There's a pleasure in sin. And there's no sin we're going to hell for. You commit crimes against heaven. You commit crimes against God when you break the law of God. Jesus said the greatest commandment is to love the Lord thy God. To love him. We need to love God with our body. Love God with our mind. People be fornicating with these devils in these end times. Oh, the devil has so many people blind. Blind in idolatry. Dead and deceived in debauchery. But Jesus wants to make you free. Hallelujah. No more thievery for me. No more idolatry for me. No more ganja smoke for me. Hallelujah. Jesus set me free. His name is Yeshua in Hebrew. The God of the Bible. The God of Elijah. The God of Jeremiah. God Almighty. The God of Holy Ghost in fire. He sent his son Messiah Jesus. That you might not die and go to hell in your sin. That you might not die in your religion and tradition. That you might not die under the burden of your sin. The weight of your sin is pulling you down into hell. You're going to breathe your last breath. Oh, you're going to take your last step. It's time to step up to the throne of Jesus. It's time to receive new life in Jesus. It's time to be born again and brought back to God by Jesus. It's time to have your sins covered by the blood of Jesus. Washed clean by the blood of Jesus. Redeemed and sanctified by the blood of Jesus. Made alive in the name of Jesus. I've been crucified with Christ. I no longer live. This life that I live, I live by faith in the Son of God. The Spirit of God lives in me. The Spirit of God dwells in me. I no longer practice iniquity. You habitually sin. You're a slave of sin. The Bible says those that sin are of the devil. Oh, the Father is the Father of lies. The devil doesn't have mastery over me. Because I don't practice idolatry. Jesus set me free. My master. My Savior, my Redeemer, my Healer. In this concrete jungle, you need a Savior. In this concrete jungle, your sin is worse than a cesspool. Your sin is disgusting in the eyes of God. But when you trust God and believe on Jesus, Jesus will wash away your sin. Your sin separates you from God. But when you become born again by the blood of Jesus and the blessed Holy Spirit, you can come into contact with His holiness. You can come into contact with God. You can supernaturally born, be born of God. You can supernaturally be brought, brought, brought back to God. You can come out of the slavery of sin. Come out of the slavery of religion. Come out of the slavery of the satanic system and start living life through Jesus. <laughs> Woo! Jesus wants to set you free. It's the glorious gospel of liberty. It's the glorious gospel that he makes men free. Oh, that he's the giver of life, Jesus. No longer a work of iniquity. No longer a child of darkness. No more slavery for me. Ooh, Jesus set me free. The true and living Jesus. Oh, the one that humbled himself and died on a tree. The one that was crucified for humanity. He's alive from the dead. And Jesus said you must be born again to enter heaven. God doesn't want your dead tradition. God doesn't want the religion and superstition. God doesn't want your devilry and idolatry. You can't drink from the cup of devils and drink from the cup of the Lord. Joshua said, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. It's time to serve the Lord and be holy by the blood of Jesus. It's time to be separated unto God. It's time to consecrate a fast. It's time to be set apart for God. It's time to be set apart for the masters and use. Oh, don't abuse. Don't, 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 don't twist the word of God. Use the word of God. Don't take the name of Jesus for granted. Let the name of Jesus be upon your lips. Let the word of God be upon your heart. Let the word of 
God transform your mind. Oh, you're running out of time. The devil's got you blind. But Jesus Christ died that you might have life and life everlasting. Not here to beg for your money. My God is the riches of heaven. My God is not broke. Away with these jokers begging in the name of Jesus. These religious beggars. Oh, we're not here to beg or sell you anything. Jesus never sold the prophecy. Jesus hung naked on a tree at Calvary. They gambled for his robes. Oh, it's a thievery when you're not, when you don't give glory to God, you're robbing God. You were created by God for the glory of God. Oh, but you're dead in your sin, so Jesus will bring you back to God. Oh, they crossed the river Jordan. He parted the Red Sea. God is able to free you from iniquity. God is able to set you free from slavery. God is able to set you free from debauchery. But you got to flee your idolatry. Run from your dead religion and run to the true and living God. Run to the most high God. Don't promote the jealousy of God with your dead religion. Your, your religion's filthy like a bloody blood cloth. The devil made your religion. The devil made your religion. Your Islam, your Rastafari, all your isms, your Catholicism, the devil. The devil took the Bible and made your, your Roman Catholic cult. So many priests be molesting children because it's not of God, it's of the devil, it's a cup of devils. There's no purgatory. God hates idolatry. There's a penitentiary of there's a penitentiary called hell for the thievery. The devil wants to steal the glory of God. The devil, the devil wants to rob the glory of God. The devil made your religion. True Christianity is not a it's not a religion, it's a relationship with God. Hinduism is not is a dead religion. Buddhism is a dead religion. Mormonism is a dead religion. Last of all, all these religions, the devil made them, he's the father of lies. God wants to open your eyes. Some people pray to Mary, Mary can't hear you. But Jesus is alive, he's there for you. If you humble yourself, if you repent, you repent of your wickedness. If you confess your sins, Jesus will cleanse you. There's no fire and there's no flames in purgatory. It's heaven or hell, life or death. These religious devils made. It's the devil's concoction in these last days. Satan masquerades as an angel of light. But Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus Christ is the giver of life. Don't be led astray by these seducers, these fake preachers, these false teachers. There's another Jesus, but there's one true and living Jesus. There's many fake Jesus, like the Mormon Jesus, he's a fake Jesus. The Jehovah Witness is a fake Jesus. The Muslims don't believe Jesus is the Son of God, they believe in another Jesus. But Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the living God, is seated in heavenly places. Oh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, His Majesty Yeshua Messiah is able to save you. He died for you. He gave His life for you. Not, not, not to make a, not a damnable religion, damnable heresies. The devil wants you to be in error. The devil doesn't want you to see modern day Pharisee, modern day Sadducee. Oh, they couldn't see it was the Lamb of God. Because they, they were self-righteous, self-righteous hypocrites. Jesus flipped the tables. God is able to save you from the dead religion. God is able to save you and transform you. God is able to do what no religion can do. Wash you. Be faithful and true. God will never lie to you. God will not lead you astray in these last days. God will lead you on the narrow path. There's a wide way that leads to destruction, but Jesus Christ has the keys of life. There's a wide way that leads to hell tonight, but there's a narrow path. When you walk up right in God's sight, when you're covered by the blood of Jesus, you can enter paradise. You can have the gift of everlasting life when you trust Jesus. And David said to trust in God. Jesus said, put your trust in God. Peter, God, hallelujah, told them to turn to God. John told them to turn to God. There's one God who's able to
to save and destroy. Don't provoke the jealousy of God in your sin. Don't provoke the jealousy of God in your religion. Have a relationship with God by faith in Jesus. Be brought back to God, the God that made your eyes can see, the God that made time to hear the voice of God clearly. It's time to obey the word of God and be made free. There's liberty. Come out of the house of bondage. Come out of the spiritual slavery. Jesus made a whip and he whipped them out of the house of God. Oh, Paul said, don't you know your body is the temple of the most high God? Are you the temple of God or the temple of devils? It's time to be a temple of God consecrated to God. Live by the truth or die by the lie. The Most High sent His Son that you might live in the truth and not die by a lie. He gave His Son mercifully, graciously, full of compassion, slow to anger, rich in love. But God gets angry for the above. God, 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 don't provoke the jealousy of God. Don't be a fraud. Don't be a fake Christian. Oh, don't be dead in your religion. Don't die in superstition. Some people try to talk to the dead. Oh, your dead uncle can't hear you. Your dead grandmother can't hear you. That's necromancy and abomination. But Jesus is alive for you. Oh, not King Selassie. I. No, Jesus Christ, the Son of the Most High. He's been made alive. King of kings and Lord of lords. He's coming with the flame and sword. Every knee will bow. Every king will bow. Every ambassador will bow. Every prime minister will bow. Every president will bow. Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. The Lion of Judah, Yeshua, Jesus. The King of Kings, Jesus. Risen from the dead, Jesus. Glorified in the highest heaven, Jesus. The Savior. Oh, the Slayer. The one that will slaughter the Sodom daughters and sons of the devil. Just like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah. It's like a modern day Babylon and Jamaica. Jamaica is not a Christian nation. Jamaica, you better turn to the God of creation and repent. Are there real Christians? Yeah, there's some real Christians. Jesus said where two or more are gathered in his name, he'd be in the midst. But there's a whole lot of fakers in Jamaica. Jesus didn't die to make all these religions. The devil made your religion to bring division. Your religion divides you from God. Your religion doesn't give you grace with God. Your, your religion doesn't give you mercy with God. Only the blood of Jesus brings you back to God. Not the blood of a chicken. Not the blood of a goat. Oh, you don't need a voodoo doctor. You don't need a witch doctor. You don't need an obia man. You need to obey the commandment of God and repent and be covered by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus. One day God showed me in a dream. One day God gave me a dream. There were demons blocking me. There were evil spirits. I don't, I don't know what they, their face, I don't know. But God gave me a dream and there were demons blocking me. And I went to my knees. I couldn't resist them. I went to my knees and said, I plead the blood of Jesus. Oh, and the demons left me in the name of Jesus. Oh, my pleas, I was guilty. Oh, I committed treason. I confessed my sins and now I plead the blood of Jesus. Jesus, cover me under the blood of Jesus. Under the blood of Jesus. You need to be apprehended by the love of God. You need to be justified by the blood of God. Oh, by the blood of God's son, Jesus. John said, look to the Lamb of God, Jesus. He wants to wash away your sins, Jesus. You don't need a Catholic priest.